In a major victory for law enforcement, Brazilian authorities have arrested the hacker known as USDOD, responsible for some of the largest data breaches affecting millions of users worldwide. This video is sponsored by Stonefly. More on that at the end of the video. For years, USDOD managed to evade detection as he targeted major organizations like the FBI and pulled off massive data dumps. But his days of anonymity came to an end after a successful manhunt by cybersecurity firm CrowdStrike. USDOD first emerged in 2021 when he hacked into the FBI-affiliated information sharing platform called InfraGuard. In this breach, he stole sensitive data of 87,000 InfraGuard members, which was later leaked online. He soon established himself as a prominent figure in hacking forums, taking on high-risk targets and dumping terabytes of stolen information. His most substantial theft came in 2003, known as the National Public Data Breach. In this incident, USDOD scraped the personal records of almost 4 billion people from thousands of databases globally. The leaked data included names, addresses, phone numbers, dates of birth, and in some cases, even social security numbers. It was an unprecedented publicity nightmare for governments and firms worldwide. Despite the scale of his operations, USDOD's true identity remained shrouded in secrecy for years. He maintained a strict online OPSEC and evaded all attempts to track him down. That changed in mid-2022 when he made a critical mistake. Frustrated with the lack of progress in attribution, USDOD publicly announced the theft of 100,000 IOC files from cybersecurity firm CrowdStrike. This immediately put a target on his back as the company redoubled their digital manhunt. Over the next month, CrowdStrike's threat intelligence and investigative platforms helped triangulate signals that ultimately linked USDOD to a specific individual living in Brazil. They were able to determine his name, location, down to the exact street address. CrowdStrike handed this intel over to Brazilian authorities who wasted no time making the arrest. On October 16th, a joint federal police task force swooped in and took the hacker by surprise at his home in Belo Horizonte. Following the dramatic raid, USDOD now faces charges here in Brazil, but there is a chance of extradition proceedings by the United States given the transnational nature of his cybercrimes. If sent abroad, he could spend many years behind bars. This unprecedented takedown demonstrates the growing ability of cyber actors to profile adversaries even when using advanced anonymization techniques. Still, with cybercrime on the rise, no company is safe from threat actors, and events like these continue to being an almost daily occurrence. This is why we have partnered with Stonefly to offer daily security review subscribers a special promo on Stonefly backup and disaster recovery solutions. Get a 70 terabytes air-gapped and immutable Veeam rubric Commvault site recovery backup and disaster recovery appliance for $7,995. Contact sales at stonefly.com to claim your promo. Don't forget to subscribe and check back for more cybersecurity news and analysis. And as always, thanks for watching.